Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. So today's video is going to be a quick one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to make it a quick one and that is uh, what I got for my birthday in 2024. Usually like I don't think out of the three, over three years that I've been on YouTube at this point, I don't think I've ever filmed one of those. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think I filmed a what I got for Christmas once, but it was basically like mainly one handbag that I purchased for myself like in 2021 I want to say. I figured this year was kind of special because uh, I turned 30, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna commemorate this milestone um, by actually showing you what I got. I'm looking down right now, it's like a mixed bag. There is, talking about a bag, there is a bag. Uh, I teased um, that in one of my recent uh, shopping vlogs that I did in Ramon, which is an outlet village in the Netherlands. So I purchased, mm, I got something um, at the outlet and that ended up being a present from my parents, which I'm super grateful for. But let's first start with a couple of other things that I purchased for myself. We have some Hermes, we have a silk item. Um, another random bit from Hermes and like a skin carry type of thing. Uh, yeah, let's start with the Hermes piece. It's a it's in a tiny bag. I actually purchased it on the website and had it delivered to the boutique. It was such an impulse purchase, but the good thing about having your birthday towards the end of a month is that throughout the entire month you can kind of justify spending money on random bits because it's your birthday month, right? Anyway, so tiny, tiny little box. Hermes has themes every year and this year is the spirit of the Faubourg and not all of their ribbons, but some of their ribbons actually have the theme on it and the year, so that's nice. As I said, super tiny box, ASMR. Ooh. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Let me reveal. Can you guess? Can you guess? It's a scarf ring, which I did unbox a vintage Hermes scarf a couple of months ago at this point, definitely a couple of videos ago, but I kind of fell down the rabbit hole of silk scarves and this is just gorgeous. Obviously Hermes does numerous uh, types of like scarf rings, but some of them look fairly plain and you can probably get the same thing, not same quality, but like the same idea on like Amazon and stuff, but this is so special. It's the Brie de Gala, which I'm planning to um, like talk a little more further in depth about um, this particular design um, in an upcoming video. So as I said, I fell down the rabbit hole of um, silk scarves and the Brie de Gala is one that features heavily uh, on scarves. So I came across this scarf ring on the website and I was like, you know what? It's my birthday month. Uh, let's buy random stuff, which I'm trying not to do as much because even like random purchases like small purchases here and there do add up but um, yeah this is the first item and while we're on the topic of silk items i got myself a silk scarf it's not by ms obviously the box is gray the brand is called molune maybe not the right way to pronounce it but the brand is from south korea so um do with that what you will in terms of the pronunciation anyway so let me reveal to you Ooh came beautifully packaged with this like crinkly paper and you have small card. The card says Rue de Moulin, so maybe that's a street that actually exists, maybe in Paris, maybe somewhere else. Anyway, so cute little card to reveal. Oh, okay. Hmm, do I want to rip open the sticker or do I just slide it out? I think I'm going to slide it out to reveal. Okay, we're we'll color matching today. I didn't even plan it that way, but let me put the box to the side. I might have to include like B-roll because it's a 90 by 90 scarf and I'm fairly close to the camera because lighting isn't perfect, by the way. Sorry about the lighting. I'm not in my usual filming setup with like my shelves, like my handbag shelves behind me. Um, so hopefully this um, temporary th situation works out, but here we are. So I hope it's in frame somewhat. It's a New York City themed one and mainly a Manhattan themed one, I want to say. So yeah, you have um, Bryan Park and the New York Public Library. Then you have like a uh, flat iron building. Then you have this like super popular photo spot with the Manhattan Bridge behind it. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's definitely in Brooklyn. I think like Washington Street and Water Street. So like, yeah, anyway, this view. <laughs> Hopefully it's even in frame while I'm talking about it. This down here, this super popular, usually very busy, uh, lots of tourists. Uh, Statue of Liberty. Up here, as I said, this is Bryan Park and the library behind it. Then this is probably one of the 
uh, I'm blanking on the name, but is this the Plaza Hotel maybe? So one of the like major hotels maybe. Then you have Tiffany and Co. And this like love um, installation. I think that's downtown somewhere, like somewhere in the financial district, but yeah, don't quote me. Anyway, and uh, this is Times Square down here, obviously, Flatiron Building, as I said, a Chrysler Building in the middle. Anyway, I just fell in love with this design. I don't even know how I came across this brand because it's fairly small. Probably got suggested to me on Instagram because I was researching a couple of Hermes scarves and then this brand popped up. So yeah, I'm going to leave it linked down below. Um, same applies to everything that I can link. I'm going to try to find the scarf ring as well and leave it linked in the description box. But yeah, just fell in love with the scarf design. It does come in a couple of different colors, if I'm not mistaken, but I think this one was the only one where the yellow caps are actually yellow. So there's that. It's 100% silk. Um, I did have to pay import duty. So I think all in all, including shipping, including the duties, which came up like when the scarf got delivered, um, maybe like 200 bucks ish. And the scarf ring is 200 bucks flat as well. Euros that is. Anyway, so love the scarf and I'm so excited to wear it or frame it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the issue with like beautiful scarf like that. I do wear makeup and it travels down my neck basically. So I'm kind of hesitant to actually wear nice scarves because yeah, makeup transfer and like, I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, one more thing and then I'm going to show you the handbag finally. But yeah, uh, another purchase or like, I mean, the other purchases are kind of like birthday present worthy, if you will. Like gift to yourself type of thing. This one kind of falls in the category of um, I usually wouldn't have purchased it because it's quite pricey but it was my birthday month so I was like you know what let me just get it. So it's by Current Body Skin and it's an LED light therapy mask. This is the box and this is the mask. Comes in this like protective sleeve so here it is. I'm not gonna like put it on because uh, you're supposed to wear it like without makeup obviously and I think without any products apart from eye cream or like eye serum if you want to. But yeah it's basically uh, let me I'm gonna turn it on just to give you an idea. There we go. So on the inside, uh, sorry if I'm blinding you, there are like tons of like red lights and um, LED lights and then you put it on for I think like 50 minutes and then it's turning off. Let me turn it off right now. There we go. It's battery operated or like, yeah, you have to charge this one every now and again. Um, so if you don't have to like sit on the couch and wait and do nothing, you can actually like walk around as long as this thing is like somewhere in your pocket or something like that. So yeah, apparently this is like for I guess anti-aging whatever I'm totally influenced by Instagram because I saw so many people wearing either this exact one like the um, current body skin one or there are tons of these kinds of masks and usually they're quite pricey or oh, um, this is not sponsored by the way I purchased it with my own money obviously but yeah I was like with me turning 30 I mean I'm still struggling with acne like this guy doesn't want to leave my face for instance so maybe I would have been better off investing in a mask that also targets like inflammation, um, acne type of situations, but this one is more like anti-aging, if I remember correctly. <laughs> this is like, I didn't even do that much research into it because I was like, okay, so many people love it and like post about it, so let me jump on the bandwagon. I guess I'm gonna report back. Uh, I definitely noticed like before I started this one, which is also one of the reasons why I decided to get an LED mask that my face just look, or like my skin just looks super tired all the time. Um, I'm tired all the time so it kind of makes sense but if there's a way that I can like boost the radiance I guess in my skin and make me feel more alive um, I'm all for that so this is another purchase uh, like a gift uh, to myself and hopefully a gift that keeps on giving obviously you have to be really consistent with this type of stuff but um, yeah looking forward to hopefully seeing some results at some point but um, yeah this is the led mask that i got for myself and now let me show you the handbag so here we are you probably already saw on the thumbnail that it's a burberry bag it did come with a burberry shopping toad um, which isn't too common i think when it comes to outlet centers for instance i purchased two saint laurent bags in the outlet center close to florence not last year, but the year prior. And those bags didn't come in a Saint Laurent bag. They actually came in a bag that was branded by the Outlet Village. But this one came in a Burberry um, shopping tote, which um, unfortunately I had to leave at home. I'm not home currently. Anyway, but here we are. And as I said, this was a gift from my parents to me, which I'm incredibly grateful for. We're not the type of family that uh, like purchases and gifts 
luxury items at all. I mean, I'm the only person in my family that's remotely interested in luxury. I did give uh, a Louis Vuitton Pochet clay to my parents ages ago and they use it constantly and kind of makes me happy to see them use it. I think they use it for their car key, um, but other than that, they wouldn't have ever purchased uh, stuff like that for themselves. And yeah, we're not the type of family to give like lavish, expensive luxury pieces um, for birthdays and stuff, but um, yeah, maybe because it's my 30th and yeah, to commemorate it, it's the banner tote. I think it's the baby size actually. So let me quickly check. Um, yeah, baby banner tote in black. So here it is. Um, <laughs> I haven't even taken um, all of the like stuffing and plastic stuff off. So um, yeah, also I can, I mean, talking about prices when it comes to presents is kind of weird-ish, I guess. But I mean, on the other hand, I mean, I did talk about this bag and it came in a couple of sizes at the outlet in my outlet vlog. By the way, check that out if you're interested. So I don't think it's overly weird to talk about the price. So the initial price, like full price, would have been 1250. Then it was marked down to 795. And then they had an additional 40% off. So this bag ended up being like 477 euros, I want to say. So I think that's an amazing deal. And uh, yeah, okay, let me quickly remove, oh, I'm saying quickly, probably won't even work overly quickly, but just to give you an idea, I think the banner tote is actually discontinued. Uh, that being said, I haven't been inside a Burberry boutique, like a full price Burberry boutique in ages, maybe not even ever. I mean, with the new creative director and the new pricing strategy at Burberry, I think the banner tote isn't part of their lineup anymore, but they did have tons in the outlets. I don't know at this point, if they're still selling the old stock that used to be in the boutiques or if the banner toad now is a um, bag style that is produced for the outlets exclusively. I don't even want to know. But even if it is, I mean, 477 bucks for an all leather bag, I think is amazing. So here it is and um, comes with this like claspy situation that allows you to tie the handles together, which is great because it's an open toad. It's a fairly small bag. It's a baby size. The opening isn't like overly big. Um, you would definitely notice someone reaching in it, I guess. But having this like additional like claspy situation um, definitely helps and adds some kind of protection. And it also comes with a shoulder strap. Okay, so here it is. Even still has some plastic um, on the latch here, so I'm not gonna even bother. But to give you an idea, it's a narrow shoulder strap and it's uh, like size or like length adjustable. There were two sizes up from this. One massive one and one slightly bigger, like maybe this bigger. I, I should still have uh, some footage of that, so I'm gonna include the footage um, from the outlet. But uh, the bigger size had a thicker shoulder strap, so even definitely more than double it, maybe this way, um, more like a guitar strap, still um, all leather, but I prefer to um, have, I have, chances are I'm not gonna even wear this bag with a shoulder strap that often, but if I do, um, I wanna have a narrower shoulder strap. Plus, I mean, if I carry the shoulder strap inside the bag, a narrow shoulder strap definitely takes up way less room than one of those like thick guitar straps. So anyway, there's that. And I love the banner tour because uh, like from the front it's fairly, plain, I guess. You only have the tiny Burberry um, writing down here, like embossed or like stamped in um, in gold foiling. But on the sides, you have a tiny little pop of um, the Burberry check, which isn't like overly in your face on both sides. Also comes with feet, which is great. Uh, nothing engraved in the feet. Sometimes uh, like some other brands actually engrave the name of the brand in the feet. These feet are plain. But um, yeah, inside fairly uh, Fairly simple. There's like no inside divider. You have a zipper compartment, which the zipper was protected with this like foamy thing. But yeah, zipper compartment, which is fairly generous. Um, maybe you're able to fit a, oh, what's that? Additional paperwork. Um, you might be able to fit like a card holder in there. Mm, maybe. I mean, this, this guy fit in. Uh, so cards for sure, maybe a card holder. So uh, yeah, but other than that, it's, an, it's a black hole, a small black hole, but um, I definitely say it fits the essentials and then some, maybe even like a small, like diagonally, maybe small umbrella, but um, yeah, 
definitely fits everything I'd need. Uh, let me know if you want me to film like a more dedicated like what fits inside um, type of video. I'd be down for that and also like mod shots. I might uh, be too lazy to include mod shots in this video so I'm sorry about that. Anyway so this is my new bag. Say hi to my new bag. It's been ages since I purchased a new handbag apart from my Kurt Geiger one which I purchased in London. Um, actually in TJ Maxx. Is it TK Maxx? I think it's TK Maxx. Uh, in London last year like November-ish but um, yeah other than that my last like luxury handbag purchase this isn't a purchase of mine because <laughs> I got it for my birthday but you get the idea my last luxury handbag um, that I added to my collection apart from the Kurt Geiger apart from the Pollen which are more like mid-range affordable bags was my Birkin and that was in February last year by the way in case you're interested it was a store offer um, with hardly any purchase history so I'm gonna make sure to leave a link to my unboxing reveal and story time um, in the eye up here or in that corner I think in that corner anyway so say hi to my new bag let me know what you think um, yeah again I love this like pop of uh, the Burberry check without being too much in your face and one last really random thing uh, but I figured why not? Some of you might be interested is this one. So this is the Le Monde Hermes um, magazine. So those come out twice a year currently, but back in the day, um, they only came out once a year. And this is from 1979, 1980. So it's proper vintage and I do collect these. I do have a second Instagram account where I actually show these magazines. I do collect the Le Monde Hermes magazines as well as the smaller Carré um, magazines, Carré being the 90 by 90 Hermes silk scarves. And I'm in the process of uh, closing the last couple of gaps in my collection, but they're pretty hard to come by, plus in like decent quality or like decent condition. But um, yeah, so glad I just came across this one on eBay. I do stalk uh, eBay and a couple of other sites. Um, and I do have like reminder set for vintage Hermes magazines popping up, but it's just so interesting to flick through some of these. Um, so yeah, I might, uh, I think I mentioned that in my Hermes vintage scarf video as well. I might uh, incorporate some of these uh, magazines in my videos. I just have to figure out a way to do it in a not too boring way. So let me know if you're interested and let me know what you would be interested in seeing and hearing about these. So yeah, I just uh, thought I'd pop this into my birthday present haul. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'm going to catch you in one of my next videos. Bye.